Hi there. Sorry for the crotch shot again, but uh, this is kind of the most comfortable way to do it inside the studio here. I just want to show you one of the lifters that I just took out. A little bit different than ones I'm familiar with before. These are kind of a, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a barbell shape. Uh, that would be uh, done to reduce weight on this because you don't... You want this to be able to move freely and quickly if possible. It's pretty hefty. But anyway, here's the here's the surface of what rides on the lobes. I don't know if this was the intake or the uh, exhaust. But anyway, that's where it uh, follows. And uh, you can quite often, um, even if you can't see where on the camshaft, if shit is really bad, you will see that this gets all dished out. Now it's hard for me to, I don't have anything really to measure that with, but it's it's not obviously concave. It's still pretty damn flat. If I put it down on a flat surface, I really can't do much with it. But that doesn't mean that the inside isn't carved a little bit. But uh, on this one, not obviously so. So, that's a good, uh, this is as much a good indication right here as having a look at the uh, lobes. Um, at least as far as trying to determine whether there's been substantial wear or not. Oh. Another recess, motherfuckers. Get on and get your recess on. It's uh, Easter Monday today, so um, there won't be, there's nobody at next door, but... Uh, What I'm uh, working on today is to probably get the stand mounts onto the front of this block. So I will be back and uh, probably will be outside and I'll be doing that. Alright, we got to be quick about this because the wind is still my foe. But i got to show you the final progress. In particular, uh, Luke, we got it on the fucking stand, you Ah, uh, yes. It worked okay. I don't think there's any issues. And actually, it is still pretty much straight up and down. I was worried that this was going to be a little cocked over, but. So. It's all good, boys. And now look at the height of it. Wow. I don't even have to fucking bend over. I can just stand straight up. God damn. That's a luxury that just doesn't. And it's not in a car, I'm not bending into the... Oh, it's like luxury. So I did find a rebuild kit for this car, and they wanted 400 US, which is pretty good. And that came with a cam and the timing chain and the cam lifters. Uh, not necessarily the rods and stuff, but that, that's that's not that bad. So, uh, yeah, I think that, that that makes sense. I might have to build up a little bit for that to, to afford it, but... Um, well, we've got it apart. Fuck, why not? It'd be almost a new engine. Anyway, um, this will be kind of a stupid little short-ass video, I guess. But now it's on the stand, so I thought, you know, that's really the last of the disassembly. And putting it into some kind of shape where we can um, um, do a proper rebuild on it. I don't need this engine to be perfect. But uh, now it's a part, I might as well make it yeah, as close to perfect as you can kind of get it without getting stupid. There's no point in spending $1,000 on making this some kind of high performance thing. If anything, if I do end up putting this into a car, I would rather it be an affordable runner um, than a you know high performance kind of thing. So I'd love this to be just a simple running Valiant engine and uh, get better gas miles than I do out of the current two. So, anyway, that's kind of the plan right now. I'll, I'll show you uh, later some of the thoughts and ideas. I'm going to recollect all the parts, find out what needs to get replaced and all that. But uh, I think uh, even though all those lifters look good today, we might as well do it. I mean, I think the cam itself was only 135 US. 
beautiful for me. And that was from Comp Cam, so I'm uh, I'm stoked. I'll wrap this up, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.